What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be taking a look at what's coming Thursday. Now you guys can keep up to date with us over on Twitter as well as following and subscribing. We've just hit over 81,000 followers on Twitter and of course you can subscribe on YouTube as well. Now Konami have started to tweet out a preview and kind of a little bit of hype, right? Is it kind of hype when you see these kind of players? Because obviously everybody knows within 60 seconds, people go on, they start searching for the images. It doesn't take that long to actually find the players. Um, you can kind of tell here, but we're actually going to see here that our good friend Arrow, he has said that these are the three players that are coming. And when you go in and look at the actual renders here, uh, you will see exactly what we mean here. Now it's a different render. This Rodrigo seems to have a different render than the card there. But these two other guys definitely follow in with the silhouettes there. You've got Ramos, you've got Rodrigo, and of course you have Liverpool's Diaz, which, I mean, Diaz has been beasting kind of at the moment. He's a really exciting winger. I just feel like his end product is, is probably the biggest issue for him at the moment. Of course, Ramos scoring that winner the other day again for Sevilla, and Rodrigo is just going from strength to strength. Now, also, as well as that, other people on Twitter kind of put up their predictions. Um, there's a couple in there. Obviously, a lot of people are thinking that Donnarumma is going to come. Rafael Leao. I don't know if we get a Rafael Leao card, lads, because we've had so many cards of him. But then his form is pretty decent. You've got Barnes from Newcastle as well. Obviously, these are just fan concepts. Let me know who you guys think as well could come. Balogun is there. Uh, Diaz is there. A lot of these cards have also been there. We know we're going to be getting Ramos. Ramos is pretty much all but confirmed from the picture that we have here. Yeah, Ramos is going to be mid, in my opinion. Also, with Luis Diaz, I mean, depending on the rating and the overall that he has, Diaz was, at the start of eFootball 22, one of the players I loved. I mean, when I originally got to Division 1 with my Road to Glory at the very, like, launch week of eFootball 22, Diaz was my starting left winger, which Alfonso Davies left back, and then it had Munain and, and uh, Corona on the right flank. Um... But I do feel that Diaz has, has not really had a good card. And then also as well with Rodrigo, this is a different card. He's going to have a different graphic to one we showed you in the silhouette. But I do feel that Rodrigo, depending on his rating, his other card that was released, the European one, was a beast. Now, all questions will be answered, but will we get Cristiano? I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, back-to-back hat-tricks. I don't know, will he get a card? Will they be planning a new Cristiano pack? I don't know what's going on with Cristiano in terms of the cards and stuff. Um, maybe we will see that, but it doesn't seem to be teased so far today. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Ronaldo deserves one? What other players do you think deserve one? And that is just a quick Thursday preview. Don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, follow the channel by subscribing as well. And we will see you in our live stream tomorrow.